I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the silver maple. Silver maple, Acer sacronym, is a member of the Acer genus that consists of 200 species of trees and shrubs that are scattered throughout the northern hemisphere, with 13 species found in the United States, and it is one of seven maples found in Kentucky. Silver maple is also called soft maple, river maple, water maple, and silver leaf maple. It is a medium-sized tree, typically with a short trunk and a branching canopy. Trees typically grow 60 to 80 feet tall and about 2 to 3 feet in diameter. Silver maple is a fast-growing, moderately shade intolerant tree that may live up to 130 years. The native range of silver maple includes most of the eastern United States into the Midwest. It is found in approximately 29 counties in the state of Kentucky. It is found growing in pure and mixed stands along the banks of water bodies and floodplains. It grows best in better drained, moist alluvial soils. It has often been used as an ornamental landscape tree due to its fast growth and tolerance of somewhat compacted soil around development. Unfortunately, the tree has relatively weak wood and that is susceptible to ice and snow breakage, and it has invasive rooting tendencies which make it a questionable choice in a residential setting. Silver maple is a deciduous tree with alternately arranged simple leaves. The leaf is rounded with five pointed lobes that have deep sinuses. The five lobes and the deep sinuses help distinguish it from sugar maple and red maple. The margins are coarsely serrated and the leaves are light green above and pale and silvery white on the underside. Fall color isn't particularly showy and it tends to be a pale golden or yellow. This species is typically monoecious, which means one house, so a single tree will have both male and female flowers. And silver maple is the earliest maple to flower, beginning as early as February, long before the leaves have emerged. The flowers are greenish to reddish and are in dense clusters. The flowers on an individual tree tend to bloom within a day or so of each other. The flowers are wind pollinated, and the flower buds are an important source of food for squirrels in late winter and very early spring when winter food stores have been depleted. The fruit is a paired Samara, which is a winged seed. The Samaras on silver maple are the largest of the northeast maples. The Samaras have widespread wings, which are typically one and a half to two and a half inches long. The seeds begin to develop immediately following flower pollination, and seeds mature by early spring between April and early June. Seeds are dispersed by wind and water and germinate quickly after landing. The minimum seed bearing age for trees is 11 years. The bark is light gray and smooth on young trees, but tends to break into long, thin strips with loose ends. The bark is similar to red maple, but coarser or shaggier. The twigs are reddish brown, also like red maple, but silver maple twigs tend to be stouter and have an unpleasant odor when crushed or scratched. Silver maple is an important tree for wildlife in bottomlands and riparian areas. The seeds are eaten by mammals such as squirrels and chipmunks. They are also an important food for a variety of birds, including finches, evening grosbeak, and wild turkey. The foliage is browsed by deer, and the beaver eat the bark. Because the wood is soft and brittle, branches tend to break and trees develop cavities, which provide critical nesting habitat for wood duck, golden-eyed ducks, owls, woodpeckers, possum, and raccoons. The wood of silver maple is lumped with other softwood maples, such as red maple and box elder. In their wood, it is not as hard as sugar maple, which is also known as hard maple. Silver maple wood is harder than red maple, but not nearly as hard as sugar maple. It tends to be brittle and close-grained. The sapwood color ranges from almost white to a light golden or reddish brown, while the heartwood is darker reddish brown. Silver maple can also be seen with curly or quilted grain patterns like other maples. It has a fine, even texture and is rated as non-durable to perishable in regards to decay resistance. Silver maple is often cut and sold with red maple as soft maple lumber. The wood is used for furniture, boxes, crates, food containers, paneling, and small specialty carved or turned objects. The sweet sap can be used to produce maple syrup or sugar, but the sugar content is lower and the tapping season is shorter than that of sugar maple, so it isn't tapped as much. There are four 
national champion silver maples listed as of 2021, but the largest is in Fairfax, Virginia. It is 288 inches in circumference, 96 feet tall with a 112 foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion silver maple is in Pulaski County. It's 297 inches in circumference, 70 feet tall with a 104 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about silver maple. The common name is derived from the pale silvery underside of the leaves. The caterpillar, sometimes called the green striped maple worm of the rosy maple moth, which is in the great silk moth family, feed on the leaves of silver, red, and sugar maple. Native Americans used the sap to make sugar, and they used it in medicines and in breads, and they used the wood to make baskets and furniture. The scientific genus name, Acer, is from the Celtic auk, which means hard, in reference to the wood. And the species name, Sacronum, is from the Greek Sacharin, which means sweet, or sugar, referring to the sap. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or neighborhood, and enjoy the sights of the silver maple.